Welcome to the vlog. In this video, I do some baking. I have a Sephora haul. We go wedding dress shopping for my friend who's getting married next summer and saw Taylor Tomlinson live. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. It's a little late to do an intro clip, but I decided to make uh, cheesecake cupcakes, uh, specifically Oreo cheesecake cupcakes. So I am on the uh, filling the things stage. So I did not try one of these yet. I didn't put Oreos at the base of all of them and I've also never made these before so I'm really not sure how these are gonna taste but they look incredible and I'll get one with an Oreo on the bottom. Why not? These didn't take like an insane amount of time so if I wasted like a bunch of cream cheese like I'll survive. They look promising. Oh my god! Wait, they're so good! I did that! Oh my god! I put extra Oreo crumbles on top of a couple. Like you saw, but... Okay! Go off. 30 minutes to bake. Not bad at all, especially. <laughs> Part of the reason I didn't film a lot of it was because I don't have a whisk at the moment. We also don't have like a mixer. <laughs> it wasn't pretty, but it ended up turning out. Oh my God, so good. Oh my God, I have to send this to my brother. Good morning vlog. There might be some noise because that uh, door is open because I need to turn the AC on immediately after I finish filming this. It looks a little dark too because I actually am setting up this to be a little office space for today because I have one of my coworkers coming by to review something and we need the dual monitors. I got a Sephora package, mini haul. Maybe my skin looks good, maybe it looks like very average, but I think that after testing out a couple of these yesterday, they did pretty well. I've been on a pharmacy kick recently because they have the melting balm that everybody loves for a makeup remover and then the yellow foaming cleanser I used to use as well I'm almost done with I have a little bit of it left so I got another one to test to see if I like this one more I liked this a lot yesterday and I used it this morning as well and it makes my face feel very soft and very clean afterwards next I got my first retinol because I wanted to give it a try and I got it from the inky list because they're not terribly expensive and if I'm gonna invest in another retinol later I want to know that I actually like it and know how to use it in the routine. This also presents the order of which you are supposed to be applying skincare. So I didn't use this this morning because it's for nighttime. Wasn't prepared for the smell but it doesn't smell as bad as like the bloom um, oil cleanser or oil breakdown balm thing. Um, in that blue packaging that smells horrendous. It's not that bad. <laughs> Glossier, never owned a thing from Glossier. The Super Bounce Hyaluronic Acid Vitamin B5 Serum is one that came up on my skincare research list. And the last item is not a skincare product, it's a lipstick, because I'm still on the ever hunt for the dupe. I tested this one out in the store. It is a Satin Allure in negligee, mm, fancy. And I remember trying it in the store, not having my swatch ready from the other one, but thinking that it looked very, very close. I made it loads brighter just now so we could fully get the effect of like this color. The moment of truth. I've been looking for this one for so long. This journey has been shared a lot on the vlog of trying to find the dupe for the NYX slip tees and I woke up like this that they had discontinued. Bummer. So I have like a five-year-old lipstick here that I can't let go of. More than five years actually. It's got promise. Oh my god, this is the closest we've ever gotten. It's not a dead match but it's on the right track like it's a little more pink but like i'm okay with that that's closer than i expected so fantastic okay well still on the hunt for like the actual dead dead ass like same thing but um wow okay 
I'm going wedding dress shopping with one of my friends because she's getting married next summer and lives in Vancouver. So I get to go to my first like bridal shopping experience with her, which is very exciting. Um, there's gonna be a couple over the course of the next couple of weeks, but I'm excited to go to the first one today because I've never done this with anybody. And I'm excited to see like what they've got. They're all gonna be so expensive. She's gonna look amazing in every single thing and it's gonna be very, very fun. So can't wait for that. Here is the great setup that I spent some time putting together and now they're like, you wanna meet us somewhere else? And I'm like, sure. Mm-hmm. Hello vlog, I put this all back because I ended up spending the entire day out at the Vancouver Club instead of in my home, which was totally fine. So I got a ton of work done with my team and I came home, did a full face of makeup because like I said, in the last clip or very recently for your viewing, I'm going to help my friend Sydney find a wedding dress. I'm only gonna be involved in a couple of her try-ons. She's done some already. Like, it's a long process and it is going to be very fun to see because I've never been a part of one, like I said, but come on. Like, I think that I did a really good job throwing this makeup together in like seven minutes, I think. Like, I'm pretty happy about it other than like my ponytail's a little bit crazy, but honestly, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna do a little bit of the gel, you know, to comb the baby hairs back a little bit because they're getting a little bit crazy right now because it's so, so humid and so hot out. They've just gone a little bit rogue. But other than that, I think we'll be good. <laughs> Hello vlog, I am headed to spin. It is Thursday, it is pretty late in the day actually, it's almost 6 p.m. And I'm going to see Taylor Tomlinson tomorrow with, um, with Tommy and three of our friends. Very excited for that. I've never seen a comedian before, so that's gonna be interesting and different. I feel like they lock up your phones or do something different with that. Like I think that, I think you can't have your phones out during shows. <laughs> like I, I do recall that being probably a thing, so. I am just stoked to see her. I think she's really funny. I'm looking forward to the show. We bought the tickets so long ago at this point that I'm just kind of excited to have a Friday afternoon activity, get some dinner with friends and just hang out. Tomorrow's also like a work anniversary of mine. So it's like really just like an exciting different kind of day. But also one of my direct reports is also like done tomorrow. So that's gonna be um, crazy. A big day of a lot of different things, but I'm really excited to roll into the weekend because I'm kind of just like crashed after the last like two weeks truly. Like I'm a very, very tired and very done with working. <laughs> It's like after midnight, but we saw Taylor Tomlinson earlier this evening and she was absolutely incredible. Like, just incredible. So I'm unwinding, watching some TV, and then I'm gonna head to bed. It's the Have It All tour, so I'm looking forward to watching the stand-up special again. I will watch that again. But for my first comedian show, I had a really lovely time. We're at Best Buy pretty late on Saturday trying to get a new Roku. Hello, where are you? We're walking, Cooper just saw So the sun is red. We're not gonna be able to be outside for the next couple days. And you cannot see the mountains in North Van at all. Good morning. The door is officially closed, the AC is off, and we have brunch with friends, so I'm gonna make some latkes. Dungeons and Dragons game, which was lovely. We haven't played apparently in like a hundred and lots of days, like 130 some days, I think they said. So it had been 
a very long time. <laughs> we got this newer version that has the volume control as well as the speaking control. So uh, it was only like 20 bucks more, but back in the day when I bought yeah. that original one, I literally, like $20 was a lot of money. And it still is. So now that we're leveling up and we're probably gonna save that one for another time, we're just gonna use that one later on and whenever we end up somewhere where we have like two televisions probably. The difference between the remotes is we've clearly had this one for way longer. Mm, I don't know. Okay, I've gotta go deal with this. So basically it just doesn't work. Unfortunate, yes. Um, our TV is just really old and the sensor broke, I guess, a while ago because we've never been able con to control power or volume on any remote. So yeah, we can't set that up. So I still don't think I'm gonna keep this version of the Roku because eventually we'll have a TV where we can do that. Maybe we'll buy one in the next few months, but right now, just gonna keep it and have to keep standing up and down when we turn the TV on and wanna change the volume. <laughs> 